Voices aloud, we've come to sing it out. Nobody like you, nobody like you. Voices aloud, we've come to sing it Thank 
And the glory of the Lord is filling this place. Glory to the Lord, glory to his holy name, bless the Lord, oh my soul and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Hallelujah, 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 waka, waka, waka. We bless you, O Lord. We give you thanks. We honor your holy name. You alone are Lord. You alone are sovereign. Lord, we welcome you. We welcome you to this life. Ha, 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 ha. We say, have your way. Be highly exalted, Holy Spirit. May you guide us with your whisper. Wow, 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 wow. We saturate this time in the blood of Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. And we surround it. We are surrounded with the angels, angels encamping around us. Hallelujah. Warra, warra, warra. Mama, 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 ta di 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 di. Ha, ba, zi, ti, ka, ma, tu, ti, 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 ti. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory be to the Lord. Ha 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 Amen. Hallelujah.
glory be to God. So we're going to be looking at the light, the light, walking in the light of the Lord. Hallelujah. And uh, we look at the screen. Uh, we're going to be looking at several scriptures. And just, you know, when you think of the word walk, it is a movement, it's an action, and it involves two separate limbs moving in sync. They wherever one goes, the other has to go in the same direction. Amen? So this is very important because walking with the Lord means that we're with him, we're united, we go the same way he goes. Hallelujah. In the word of God, hallelujah. Actually, let me start in the book of John, chapter one. John chapter 1, hallelujah, hallelujah, welcome. It says that in the beginning, the word already existed. Um, I've got two versions up, so you can see the both. I have New Living Translation and New King James Version, John in chapter 1. We're looking at walking with the Lord. Can you mute yourself, please? Sorry. Um, so we, we started by looking at what it means to walk. We have the two legs and one goes in front of the other. And one leg cannot go in one direction and the other one, the other one. They, they, they automatically go in the same direction and they're always in sync. So when we look at this, and the reason that is important is because the word of God tells us that we are hidden in Christ. That, And we'll look at that, where the Lord and the Father make their home within us. So if we look at this, in the beginning, the word already existed, was the word. And the word was God, and the word was with God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him and without him nothing was made that was made in him was life and the life was the light of men and the light shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot comprehend it hallelujah so this is just to let us know that everything the essence of everything is made through him by him and for him and the light shines in the darkness And it says here that I'm going to um, uh, skip down to verse 10, where it says that he was in the world and the world was made through him and the world was not, the world did not know him. He came to his own and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God to those who believe in his name. And then if we look further down, it says that in verse 14, the word became flesh and dwelt among us and beheld his glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. So when we think about that he was full of grace, he became flesh, he became a human being, and he dwelt among us. If we go now, just keep that in, in mind because we're starting to build who is this person to understand why when we say walk in the light, we're walking in that which was made flesh, in that which the darkness did not comprehend. If we, if we look at it again, it says that we're walking with him. What it does it mean to walk with the Lord, to walk in him? So we understand first, we're looking at who Jesus, how he is described to us. And then, so let's go to um, 
John 14. So here we see him introduced as the way, the truth, and the life. Um, New King James Version, in the New Living Translation, it's just the caption is Jesus, the way to the Father. And this is very important because when we walk in the Lord, there is no separation between him and the Father because Jesus walked with his Father. He obeyed everything his Father said. If we look here in verse 6, it says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So all this is very important for us to understand that walking with people, walking in the light, because we saw that the light became life and dwelt among us, that, that he himself is describing himself as light, as revelation, and He's telling us here that no one, that he's the truth. He's life and he's truth. And no one comes to the Father except through me. Um, and we, we know this story when Philip was asking to, to, for the Father to reveal him, for Jesus to reveal the Father to him. And in verse 9, Jesus says, have I been with you so long yet you have not known me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you show us the Father? Do you not believe I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own authority. But the Father who dwells in me does the works. Believe in me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or else believe in me for the sake of the works themselves. So what this is saying is that when we say walk, in the life, we are walking in God. We are walking in his son, Jesus, because the two are inseparable. And it means that if Jesus himself, so it says here, I do not speak on my own authority, that when we speak the word of God, we are speaking, we are, we are speaking, within the authority that we have been called. And I, I mentioned in the beginning that walking is an action. This is an action and it, it's such a, a um, an expansive topic, very much, you can go in depth in so many ways, but I'm going to walk, I'm going to speak um, from the perspective of walking in the light with the definition that I gave and the explanation I was speaking when we when we walk, we don't even really think about, okay, I'm gonna walk. We're just moving around. We're thinking more about, I'm gonna go, I need to go downstairs or I need to go to wherever we need to go to and we just go. Um, it is a means of, uh, going from point A to point B, a means of transportation. It is a means of achievement. We, when we go from point A to point B, we accomplish a movement and we accomplish uh, a movement that enables us to do the activity or the action, why of what we needed to do it when we were going to that place. So walking, in the light is a process of understanding that we need the Lord to get from point A to point B. It's a, one can describe it also as a journey that is filled with the authority of the Father. When he says, the words I speak to you do, I do not speak on my own, but on my own, on, on, I, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does the work. He's attributing all his 
everything his his uh, um, his incredible um miracles and ways and you know, when people say that when he spoke, the people were astonished because he spoke, he didn't speak like the Pharisees. So everything about Jesus was remarkable. It left an imprint. It left people thinking. And so when we walk in the light, we must understand the power of the light. Walking in the light, like I said, is, is aligning your thoughts, our thoughts, our words, our actions with Yeshua. Because he is the light. And the reason I use the word align is Precisely, if we think of one leg is yours and the other leg is Jesus, it's probably not the best way to describe it because we are hidden in him. Both our feet are in his feet. <laughs> but I'm just trying to explain that we cannot go one way when he's directing us a different way. It just... It just cannot work. We will fall. We cannot, we won't move. We won't be able to move. We will, we will, we will just stagnate. And so this is one, um, I would say maybe one definition of, of walking in the light. This is, uh, I gave a physical um, analogy. But um, when we, we think about uh, the movement of the body, it's just to explain that it's impossible. It says without, okay, if we go back to John, uh, first John, um, even if we go up here in, in John 14 and it says, do not let your heart be troubled, believe in God, also believe in me. He's saying that there are, uh, that he is the solution. So walking with him means that we shouldn't allow trouble to enter our heart. It means putting belief, putting our faith in God the Father and putting it also in him. He says, believe in me, believe in God and believe also in me. And it means that when we're walking, it's an action, it's an activity, it's a life, it's a constant. It means that we are actively seeking his face, seeking his solution, desiring what he's desiring. Because like I said, so this is now... Um, a, there's a spiritual walking, there's a physical walking, there's an emotional walking, there's a mental walking. It, 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 is, it is aligning every part of our senses with him. You know, sometimes when we go to sleep, we might say, saturate my mind in your blood. Cover me in your blood. Cover my subconscious, unconscious, and conscious mind in your blood. There's so many levels to the way we have been created by him. That we want his, his way, his purposes, his um, revelation to permeate to overtake, to override, to infiltrate every part of us, physically, spiritually, intellectually, emotionally, in every format, this walking occurs, this walking takes place. But we must allow access, we must be desiring and wanting to have this process unfold and manifest and the reason it's a walk 
in the light is that we always, it's a constant transformative process. It also implies that there's so much we don't know that we continually and constantly seek his way, seek his perspective in every situation, in any situation, so that the walking, the act of walking, the act of the movement of, of intention to be aligned with his ways is activated. We know that in Psalms 1, I believe it's Psalms 1. Let me see, let's go there. And just... It says um, in the very first verse, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. That word walk is, is used here nor stands in the paths of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. So in this sense, it says, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. It's the same thing here. When we think of walk, it means everything, everything um, that is unrighteous everything that would derail us from the ways of the lord counsel every every and it would be called wicked because it is not godly the one who walks not in the council who walks not in the counsel of the wicked of the ungodly is blessed So this is just showing us we could walk in many ways. And, you know, let us not be deceived because without God, it doesn't necessarily mean that everything I do is wrong, but I really am moved and motivated and inspired by what I have garnered or learned from the world. If I didn't know God, if I haven't, if, I'm some, if I was someone who has not declared Jesus as Lord, I would be um, operating, walking in the ways of the world, which is ways that are ungodly. Because there is no uh, reference to the ways of God in the world. So many people and we know many people, I was one of those people who did not know God. But the, when I started to hear about him by reading his word, I desired and wanted to know more. And so it really calls for a humility, a humble heart. Just beginning from the premise that, you know what, perhaps I don't know. Let me find out deferring to the Lord. For in verse six, it says, the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. And in verse, um, so I have two, two different um, versions here in, in, in uh, New Living. It says, for the Lord watches over the paths of the godly, but the path of the wicked leads to destruction. When we think of a path, it's somewhere where we are walking. It is to, it just guides you somewhere. The vehicle that I'm using in this particular, um, because the scriptures constantly walk in the light, walk in the ways of righteousness, walk, use the word walk because it is a movement. It's a directional movement an intentional one. And it says that the Lord watches over the path of where those feet will go. So if he's watching over the path of the godly, he's watching over it so that 
he, he keeps us carefully planted on that path. We don't get lost. We don't take a wrong turn. We don't, you know, fall off because we were not prepared. He illuminates the path. And that illumination occurs by his word, the Bible. It occurs by meditating on the word. Because then we can get deeper understanding and revelation, insight for a situation, a circumstance, for our heart. It's the process of walking. It's the process of allowing him entry into every as aspect of our heart. Where no area is barred from his presence. We're giving him access to transform. Access to give us light in, in every part. Amen? So it says... You know, when we meditate, I'm going in um, verse 2. Those who delight in the law of the Lord, meditating on it day and night, they're like trees planted along the riverbank. Do you know that a tree, the roots of a tree, are as deep in the soil as the height of the tree? Some, tr some roots go, uh, mm, what is it, horizontally. But even if they go horizontally, they're searching for water, but they will go the same height of the tree. So this is just to show the depth. If we want to go, you know, this time uh, uh, we, we are preparing for a wonderful conference on the prophetic that is based on Isaiah 40, verse 31, 30 and 31. And this one that we said that they are uh, in verse three here of, of Psalms number one, it says they are like trees planted along the riverbank, bearing fruit each season and their leaves never, never wither, wither <laughs> never wither. They prosper in all they do. This means there's this consistent, constant victory. Because when you walk in the light, that's just it. You're, you're always there. You're always seeking direction. We're all, you know, we're in prayer or even if you're saying, I don't get it or I'm having a hard time, that is walking in the light because you're taking the situation, the trouble that you're feeling to him. And asking for solution, asking for light. That is the action of being in the light versus going to another format to, or just like, you know, quitting. And I'm, I'm just going to stay in this, like giving into the frustration and saying, accepting that frustration is a normal that can put us in the darkness because in in Jesus, let's go to first John four. So we, we say that in him, there is no darkness at all. Okay, um, let me see. So it says that in, in him, there is no darkness at all. And I'm going to get that. Um, sorry, I thought I had that, that passage, but it is in... Um, so it says that Jesus was revealed by his, by 
revealed as God's son by his baptism in water, by shedding his blood on the cross, not by water only, but by water and the blood. Um, yeah. All right. Um, what I was going to what I, all I was saying here is that in him, there is no darkness at all. So when we are walking in the light, we can never, we will always bear fruit, which was what Psalms 1, chapter verse 4 was saying. And it's because we are in that action or activity of being in the light. So here in... Um, I'm going to find it and I will share it. But um, here it says that uh, if in verse four, it says, you are children, you are of God, little children, and have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. They are of the world, therefore they speak as of the world and the world hears them. We are of God. He who knows God hears us. He who is not of God does not hear us. By this, we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Now, there's two versions here. And, and this is a very, um, we're living in a very, very critical time where this passage here is, is very, very real. It's, I mean, it's probably been very real. I mean, the word of God, the truth is, it's it's always real but now more than ever the, the lies of the enemy have over are, are so loud that the world cannot really hear us on some topics and um i'm speaking about uh, maybe uh, let me see is, is can anyone let me see who's who is on the call. I, when I'm in the screen, I can't really see. So if you're aware, I don't know if anyone wants to type or say, I'm not sure if you're able to speak, but think about what, when you're not walking, when we, we are walking in the light. So there's some areas where we know it is is so clear. When you walk in the light, there is no absolutely no confusion because walking in the light is walking in truth and the world is very very used to debate and and um arguing on intellect because intellect is a source of pride it is a way of the world it's a clever way of the world to win an argument which which kind of implies that the, the cleverer you are with your situation or circumstance, then you can override and win in a circumstance or situation. But what that means is that you are able to manipulate truth. The more clever you are, the more you can speak about a situation or, or clear yourself out of a situation You, you you're able to manipulate the people's thoughts or, or sway them emotionally it is a form of deception that seems to be light it was so clever and like you know what that's true it's it's right when and this is lawyers but it's really not just lawyers it's it's, it's everybody who does not walk in the light And so it's it's very critical to understand that the light itself, walking in the light, allows us and enables us to be very, very firm, to be strong in the word, to be strong in the light, to be strong in our stance, because we know God has confirmed it and we have believed it. And that's it. There's no 
second guessing, there's no gray area. And this is why when it says those people, I'm, I'm sharing the screen again. I'm, I'm, uh, those people belong to this world, so they speak from the world's viewpoint, and the world listens to them. So I'm talking about very clear issues that have been in major, caused major fights, and all this, as we know, is, is the, the fight over abortion. People even have lost friendships the fight over marriage, the light, the word, the walking with the God tells us very clearly that marriage, a man will leave his, his family and become one with the wife. There is no species anywhere where God made the same type. Each species is supposed to bear fruit in its likeness. If you go to the book of Genesis, every seed would produce the seed of its own kind with a male and female. Now, the people who walk in the world are speaking as the world. Say, why not? It's okay if they love each other, why not? Now, it is completely contrary to the light, but it is being presented as a truth and a way of life. And it has been presented over time, very, very strategically, carefully, through media, through films, through sitcoms, where, you know, life with will and grace, that was, what's the what it called, will and grace. There were, there's so many and they win awards, the modern family to kind of drip by drip by drip, tell you it's okay, it's normal. This, they're so funny, they're so loving. This is not the issue. The issue is that it is, it's, it is just immoral. It's, it's not from God. So when we walk in the light, we gain conviction. Whatever was foggy, even if we were leaning into the argument, oh, you know what, that sounds kind of, there's something there. The word walking in the light enables us to be totally resistant to manipulation. It sensitizes us to manipulation. We, we grow in discernment and we're able to hear and recognize the word and the ways of the world, the way the world walks versus the truth of God. The more we we, 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 we seep and grow in the word and meditate, seeking, seeking revelation, seeking understanding. Because maybe we grew up in a family where, you know, I'm not saying we, but there are people nowadays who grew up in so-called modern families where there's two moms or two fathers or whatever, however you want to call it. And so that type of a person would need to have all their, what they have been taught by the world transformed. And it's only walking in the light. It is only the light that can do that. And so those are extreme type situations, but there are many that we, the reason we are filled with joy is because it's like, wow, the, the Lord gives us continual revelation and understanding of his ways when we walk with him. And we can with, with do, with, withdraw from every way the world, every way our culture, you can, you can 
break this down in your culture. You can break it down in everything that you do. There's so many cultures, beautiful cultures, but within the cultures, there are many things that are not, do not align with the ways of God. And for many, it's a big struggle. We have to separate and say, okay, God, show me. Because the emotion is so intertwined with the way of the world. Emotion can color and sway us from walking in the light. Which is why we yield our emotion. We yield our everything our conscious to the blood and the way of Jesus like let me walk in you it might mean it might take a time but the fact that you are yielded and allowing and desiring God to change that is this that is walking in the light if there was no struggle, it might be like, well, what, what, you, you don't know, you know, we, we, we have struggles on different levels and circumstances and situations expose the truth of how our positioning, whether we are aligning, walking with the world or walking with God. The, the, what I'm trying to communicate is walking with God means acknowledging that and saying, ha, huh, Okay, God, I really need you to show me your way in this area. Never allow the word world to condemn you because we, we are constantly needing to transformation to walk in his way, to get rid of selfishness, to 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 to, to not allow mm, today. Did that person mean to hurt me? You know, we are we are constantly, we, when we heal of wounds, we are more cautious next time around. But we always need to go to the light to walk with him so that that healing is permanent. That healing becomes a place of strength. That healing then is used by God for you to use to work in others who have been in worse situations to make, help them bring them into his light, walk them into his ways. Amen. So walking in the light covers so many areas. It just depends on our experiences. It depends on what the enemy had stolen, tried to destroy, tried to kill, and is still trying to do so. And how we resist by saying, God, I need you. Mm -mm. What does the word say in this area? Sometimes we don't even know we're in error. Because this is just what we've always done. I've always done this in my family. We do this. Da, 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 da. It, you, could, you could use all kinds of um, um, experiences. But the challenge comes, would you, will you walk with God in that challenge? Will you yield to the Lord? Will you say, God, I need you in this one because I even, I'm not understanding what's wrong about it. So that he can teach you directly, talk to you through somebody else, through his word in any way. That is where we will we will always bear fruit let me go back to psalm 1 and even proverbs and i'll go to proverbs 3 1 through 5 but, but, but in proverb in, in psalms 1 it says meditating on it this is how we walk we want those roots to go deep 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 in Ezekiel it talks about him drowning in the water the water was knee deep then it was waist deep then it was higher is walking getting the depth of the Lord we can only get there when we when we remain steadfast in this walk it says in verse 5 that sinners will have no place among the godly
And uh, what I wanted to talk about is verse three, that the, those who walk are planted by the rivers of water that bring forth its fruit in its season and whose leaf will not wither. Whatever he does prospers. That's so beautiful. And it, it only comes, you know, we may fall, but we keep walking until that area becomes a strength. Amen. Amen. So I remember one time I I I uh, shared with us somebody, I was like, you know, you, you need to walk in the light. And they were so offended, like I had said something that was so alien. And I was like, it's it's not, I'm not saying that you don't walk in every area, but it was in the in a certain area. I was like, you know, in this area, don't, you know there was some some deceit and I was trying to say don't it's a just be truthful whether it's it's you're going to feel ashamed or not that's not the point the point is you don't want to enter the trap of the enemy where your shame wings and you you say mm, I'm not going to say a thing here because then you're not walking we're not walking in the light when those things when we when we are like that it takes more courage to walk in the light, to shame the enemy. And we, we've all done that. But what, what the point I'm trying to make is that we must choose the light at the critical time. Choose it. So this is where in Proverbs 3, 5 through um, 8, it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. I hope you can see the screen. Um, I, I love uh, to have many translations because it really pulls so much depth, so much more. And it says, in all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Seek his will in all you do. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Instead, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Do not be wise. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. You know, evil, sometimes we, we think evil is just, you know, murder. You know, I'm not a murderer, so I'm not evil. But evil is like, it's, it's just not allowing God to enter every aspect so that we can really be assured and ascertain that we are walking in the light. There's a scripture that says, the light within you, let me go there. It's, it's, I think it's uh, Luke, Luke, let me see, it's Luke 11, because that will really be helpful. Um, Luke 11, 34, let's, let's go there. But this is, you know, don't be wise, acknowledge it's, it's, we take offense very quickly and easily. And that's when we get off the, the, the light grid. When we, when we take offense, we fall in the darkness right away. Um, let's see, 34. It says your eye is like a lamp that provides light. For your body, when your eye is healthy, your whole body is full of light. But when it's unhealthy, your body is filled with darkness. It's talking about light. Make sure the light you think you have is not actually darkness. If you are filled with light and with no dark corners, then your whole life will be radiant as though a floodlight were filling you with light. So this is, this is, is why, you know, we just need to be in the Bible, be in the word, talk to one another, you know, with Psalms and hymns as the Bible says, but, you know, just talk with one another because we could be in, in the dark 
without realizing there is a light that is actually dark. It says, make sure the light you think you have is not actually darkness. Only God could say such a thing. So beautiful. I just love it. I'm like, oh, oh my gosh. You know, because there's so many things we can think like, or even just talk to ourselves. Well, um, we can, we do this a lot. We compare ourselves with others and we can say, well, the world does this a lot. When we walk in the light, we learn that our measuring stick is Jesus. It's not each other. When we make it about each other, we can puff ourselves up with pride. Like, oh, at least I'm not like them. And that's walking in the dark. So walking in the light, you know, as we know, it says whatever is good, whatever is um, useful, whatever is, is, is uh, lovely, think about these kind of things, you know, praise one another, look for ways to complement each other. It's, it's saying it's encouraging and, and giving us direction of how to implement the light. How, you know, some, some people, I remember when I was in high school, the high school I, I was in was very common speech to, to speak in sarcasm. It was so common. And sarcasm can be very hurtful. It can be a very, very much part of a culture, even in the words, maybe like some, some, some things um, are just like that, but we have to learn how, unlearn how to speak those that, those kind of ways because they are hurtful um and they're not the ways of the lord and so examining our heart maybe maybe unconsciously we 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 speak negatively without realizing so oh, that'll never happen to me or oh i'll never be picked or there's some people if you hear the way they speak is always negative towards themselves or negative towards and it's it's maybe from experiences or learned behavior or what but all i'm saying is that that's how we we came to Christ, we let him change us. We let him by walking in the light. Just, oh, change me. There's no mountain that is too difficult for the Lord. He can change our characters, he can change the way we were. And, and that process of change is the walking in the light. It's a beautiful process because it's telling him, you know what? Have me, have me. Every part of me belongs to you. Change me. I'm in you. Do your will. Amen. So I'm going to um, stop here. I don't know if there's any question or any comment. Let me stop sharing and see. And if not, I will um, say a prayer for us. Thank you, Lord. Father, there's no one like you, nobody like you. You are without darkness. You say there is no darkness in you at all. That blows my mind. There's none at all. Gives me such hope, so much joy, Lord. As we come before you this, 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 this um morning or we just thank you lord for your word we thank you for your love that is so 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 incomprehensible it's so deep that your word your light can permeate and penetrate every part of us that we we so that we can have be flooded with your light so that we can live day to day free of stress free of worry every time we feel stress we should come to you running help us help that to be our automatic go-to help us to be sensitive to our own emotions to our own moods when we we start to worry or life becomes hard and we start going off the deep end that we run to you let us never give the devil a foothold, O oh Lord. Thank you so much for your grace.
thank you so much for your mercies and your goodness. We always say, may your goodness and mercies follow me all the days of my life. We bless you for that. May your spirit of goodness, your spirit of mercies never leave us, O oh Lord. We need you. We bless you. We thank you for your constant desire. May we always walk in you. Remove every spirit of confusion, any spirit of pride, any spirit of offense. That we may walk in your beautiful light always. That you may strengthen us and use us as that light in the world so that the world will actually hear you through us. We thank you for the authority. We thank you for your love. And we thank you for the transformative nature of your word. Ha, Lord, as we go, may your word continue to work in our hearts day and night. I just love that your word never goes back void, but continues and prospers until it has achieved exactly what it was sent to do. May your word, your light continue Continue to work in our hearts, every layer, layer of our consciousness, our subconscious, every part of us, that we will walk radiant in your glory in every area, in everything. Make us to be yielded. Ah, Lord, we, let, we love you. We bless you. It's in Yeshua's beautiful, most precious name that we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. May you all be blessed. May the Lord bless you. May his face shine upon you. And may he be gracious to you. Amen. Amen. Okay, have a good night. Everybody's muted. Have a good night. And uh, may the Lord love. Um, thank you for joining the watch. Amen.